What's up guys, I'm here at the 2015 Virginia Film Festival and I'm happy to have special guest Bill Plimpton with me. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, so I was talking with you just, just now, just a few moments ago. You said that you came in uh, yesterday. How has Virginia been treating you? Uh, very nice. The Southern hospitality is alive and well. Uh, everybody is so uh, courteous and they ask me what I need and what I want. And <laughs> the food's been great and the movies have been fantastic. Really amazing films. And so I'm very excited because tonight I'm showing my film, Cheatin'. And uh, it's the first time it's been shown here. So I'm very, very nervous, but I think people will like it. Okay, all right. Now, I understand that this film is hand-drawn. And, you know, animation, as you will know, has evolved so much recently where, you know, it's pretty rare for a film, animated film, to be hand-drawn. So what are your thoughts on that and how it's progressed? And do you think that will return to hand-drawn? Uh, you know, my, my prediction is that uh, all different techniques will be used in the future. Uh, I love computer animation. Pixar and Disney and DreamWorks and Blue Sky make great films. I love to watch their films, but I don't have that kind of budget. I'm, okay. indep I'm independent, sure. so sure. I finance my own films. So my budgets are about $200,000, $300,000, whereas a Pixar film is $200 million. Yeah. So theoretically, I could make a thousand of my films for one Pixar film. But I like it because it's more handmade. I mean, when you see the film, you can see the hand of the artist. You can see the mistakes I made and the work that goes into it. And I think there's a certain warmth to that, a certain uh, quality that's very friendly. It's not a bunch of machines making a movie. It's actually a human being. Right. And so that's why I think that people... Um, people are drawn to my films. But there are also other techniques that are just as popular. Uh, uh, Ardman and Nick Park films, Wallace and Gromit are claymation. Yeah, yeah. And then you have uh, Henry Selleck who does puppet animation, Tim Burton who does puppet animation. And uh, there's a lot of different techniques and I think that uh, people's love of animation, which is exploding right now, animated films are so popular in the cinemas that uh, that people want to see something different. They want to see something they've never seen before. And that's why I'm able to find an audience for my films. Okay, great. And, and can you tell me more about cheating? Can you talk a bit about how that story came along? Sure. Uh, it was actually uh, inspired by a, uh, a real event in my life. Okay. About 15, 20 years ago, I had a relationship with a girl. And I thought this would be it for my life. This is someone I was going to spend my life with. Uh, we moved in together, and after about a month or two, we were ready to strangle each other. <laughs> uh, yet, I still wanted to have sex with her. I still was uh, passionate about, about her. I still loved her. And so I thought that was an interesting concept for a film where the couple uh, hate each other, but yet they still are drawn to each yeah, other, drawn to each other mag magnetically. And um, so this couple, uh, uh, their names are, um, uh, oh my God, what are their names? Uh, anyway, they're 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 trying to kill each other, but yet still they really love each other. So it's that kind of that ki that kind of relationship. And there's a lot of opportunities for humor. There's some nudity in there. It's not a children's film. It's uh, it's definitely for adults, but it's uh, it's a film that uh, really explores relationships and uh, passion and jealousy and um, humor. Okay. And surrealism. Okay. Now we, you know, we have television shows, you know, that are a very adult themed in terms of, uh, with, in terms of animation. Um, is was that a concern on yours on your part when you were making the film that it, you know, that it would alienate anybody because of the fact that that it's that it's such a mature subject matter? Or yeah, that's a very important question, and it's an issue that I've been dealing with my whole life. Because, because of the power and influence of Disney and Pixar, um, the distributors believe there's no audience for a film that deals with adult ideas and right. adult subject right. matter. But I don't care. I mean, I, I'm not rich. I don't make blockbusters. But my films are popular. I make enough money to continue making my films. I don't take government money. I don't take Hollywood money. I don't take... Um, Corporation, corporate money. I do do Kickstarters occasionally, and that's that's a big source of income. Mm -hmm. But as long as I'm able to make my films and make them the way I want to make them, with complete freedom, uh, I'm happy. 
and I think the audience appreciates that. I mean, especially with my Kickstarter campaigns, they all, they all, they're all behind me because I'm doing films that I want to make that are different, that are uh, unique, that show a real artistic uh, philosophy, and that's why I think that that my films are are so popular. Okay, all right, great. Um, so now that we're at the Virginia Film Festival, you know, what are your hopes for the film's journey? Are you going to, you know, uh, have it shown at any other festivals, or is this, you know, the end of the circuit for this film? Well, it's pretty much the end of the circuit. Uh, we've just released it on, uh, on uh, Netflix and uh, iTunes, and uh, we're t negotiating Hulu right now and a couple of other sites. Um, and we're starting to realize uh, money from the uh, internet release, plus DVDs and Blu-rays, and starting to sell very well in Europe. So um, I'm actually on to my next film right now, which is almost done. Uh, I'm doing actually I'm doing two films right now. Wow, okay. One is a mockumentary about Adolf Hitler, okay. and how Adolf Hitler loved cartoons, and he really did. He truly loved Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So I made a film, of, a fanciful film, about Hitler's uh, days working in a cartoon studio doing animated cartoons. And then I'm doing a film now called Revengeance. And this isn't done yet, but it should be done by spring of next year. So hopefully I can bring it back here to okay. the Virginia Film Festival. It's a, it's a film uh, written by Jim Lujan, who's a L.A.-based uh, writer and cartoonist. And he did the characters, and I'm basically producing the film and doing all the animation. All right, great. Well, there you have it, Real Filmers. Again, I'm here at the 2015 Virginia Film Festival. I have Bill Plimpton here. I'm Brandon Troy. I'll see you soon. Okay, wait, don't turn off. I'll do a drawing for you. you <laughs> awesome, in, yes, you please. This is my, uh, tell me when you're ready. Uh, this is my dog, who's sort of become my Mickey Mouse character. He's very popular. And he actually has a cameo in Cheatin' too, so you okay. can see him a little bit in it. I forgot his nose here.